What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to talk about the mega servers that are coming up on Debillion. And I say that coming up because they are already out on the EU servers, but the North American servers has been delayed on having the mega server uh, tech being put into it. So basically they did the European mega server merger, which put the two servers of, let's see, what were they called? They were called Cigario and Seadrift into one server called Alara. Now this new server actually is having some issues. So it's very nice that the North American servers is not getting this until these issues are fixed so uh, much sadness to the EU server right now but basically what uh, players are complaining about is that they are missing proficiencies on their characters now that the mega server has happened uh, if you don't know what proficiencies are they are much like the planar attunement that you will find on games like Rift and uh, EQ even had a system like this to where you basically earn experience after you are max level and you can take this experience to put into points of things and boost your character up on Davillion you put into intelligence and other things that are going to uh, make your character more powerful or gain more experience or something like that and uh, people are actually losing their proficiencies with this mega server so they're trying to fix this right now and get everybody lined out uh, but there are other problems cropping up as well such as people's shared banks are being uh, emptied out so people that are putting their talismans and stuff to share with their other characters are now missing their talismans and if you play this game you know that the talismans are so so important so for them to come up missing man everybody's panicking so the uh, European servers are suffering a little bit with this uh, mega server merger but hopefully it'll pan out and whenever the North American servers get it uh, next week hopefully it'll be all lined out and they're going to be combining the two servers of Asperon and Raven into a server called Bolton so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully it's better than the European server is experiencing right now. So with this uh, patch, whenever it does happen in North America, we are going to get the Terror of the Depths update. Now, basically what this is, is it's a weekly PvP map that's going to be put in that we can only do on Thursdays and Sundays. So if you don't get it done on Thursday, you can get it done on Sunday, but you can only do it once a week. And uh, this is a Davillion only map by what I'm reading. So basically your normal form as you're seeing me on the screen right now will not be able to compete in this map. You'll be in full devil form of your character and competing. And this is really really cool by what the patch notes is saying basically there is going to be a base of some sort that uh, one team is trying to destroy and the other team is trying to defend now there will be capture points that will uh, allow you to do certain things such as if you capture a point it may uh, allow you to respawn at that point if you capture a different one it'll knock down barriers or something like that and there's just lots of things that it can be done in order to uh, further your uh, team's progression in this uh, particular fight. Now, there will also be rewards that are catered around the Davillion form, so you'll probably get Davillion gear around this. Uh, anybody that plays this game knows that most people really don't worry about the Davillion gear too much because the normal form is what most people are playing in because you have to build up power in order to go into your devil form and uh, it's kind of like a novelty thing it's very very important in the game but you're not in your devil form very much so people really don't focus on the gear for it very much and uh, like a lot of things in this game, people kind to uh, kind of try to get uh, lesser quality of gear and just level it up. Um, they do it for talismans and they do it for Davillion gear. Right now, most people will just get the grand, which is the green Davillion gear, and they'll level it up up to the max level and then they'll stop after that. They don't really worry about getting the blue gear or uh, purple gear or anything else that comes afterwards. They really just keep the green gear and level it up to max level and they're very happy with that because the maxed out green gear you can get it maxed out way before you would ever dream about maxing out the blue gear and the blue gear isn't really all that much more powerful than the green gear so everybody just levels up the green gear and calls it a day after that uh, with this particular uh, 
Warfront, I guess you would call it, or Battleground, it is going to promote people to probably want to level up their Davillion gear a little bit more or go into the rarer forms of the Davillion gear. So that'll be very cool. That will be a whole nother uh, line of progression that people can work on and have fun with. Uh, this is also going to allow people to be a raid leader in this particular Warfront. Uh, what it is is whenever you have the most amount of points on your team, you'll get special abilities that you can do you can do stuff like uh, make it to where everybody can see the enemy locations for 15 seconds uh, there will also be uh, the ability for the raid leader to uh, make waypoints on the map so everybody can actually see where the raid leader wants you to go or thinks you need to go uh, they'll also be able to broadcast uh, chat messages that will uh, show to everybody on their team also they will be able to change who the raid leader is if you're somebody that is doing an amazing job in this particular uh, battleground you will be able to uh, switch the leader to somebody else if you don't want to be the leader so that's really nice um, let's see now one of the big things that's going to be going on with this particular battleground is it is not going to be bolstered. No bolstering at all. So uh, most people know in Davillion, whenever you do PvP, almost all of it is normalized. As in, whenever you play, your gear is the same as everybody else's. Now, there are certain things that do not get bolstered, such as your talismans. Uh, I believe your proficiencies don't either. Uh, stuff like that. So if you're a longtime player of the game and you have really good talismans and other people do not, you still have an advantage in normalized PvP. So uh, for anybody to say that they beat you and it's all normalized and uh, you're just a bad player, a lot of times that's not the case. They might not have, uh, they may have very good talismans and proficiencies and you just didn't have it. Uh, but the, the, the gap is a lot less whenever it's normalized gear. But in this particular Warfront that's going to be coming up, it is not normalized so uh, people with raid gear will have a little bit of an, av of an advantage over people that have like the PvP gear or a little bit lesser gear so uh, yeah no more will the best PvPers in the game be running around with really crappy gear on just to just to be wearing what they think looks cool because they will actually need to play uh, and possibly do raids in order to get some of the best gear in the game in order to compete even better on this particular Warfront. So uh, the other things that have changed, uh, there's tons of things that's going into this patch now. Uh, if you want to see the full details, I'm of course not covering every little bit of it. If you'd like to go and see the patch notes on the forums, I highly recommend it. There is so much good information there and you guys will really enjoy seeing all the things that are coming up. Uh, let's see, there are also going to be um, let's see they're talking about the mega servers even more and talking about the shared banks and proficiency points that they're going to be fixing because of all the issues that's coming up uh, also they are removing the battleground event merchants and also taking out the gladiator tokens as a reward from PvP uh, these are kind of like a side thing anyway the battlefield merchant uh, really just gave you titles and stuff like that and it really wasn't important to the game uh, people that did get their titles and stuff from this battlefield merchant will actually be able to probably have something unique in the game that nobody else is going to be able to get in the future possibly so that would be very cool for a lot of players that uh, did get these items or titles uh, also they have made it to where every account now has 12 character slots total that they can use per server so that makes it with the mega servers it's going to allow you to actually be able to play all of your characters and not have like restrictions on your characters because because you don't have enough slots or something like that they are opening up 12 slots for everybody to use and be able to play all of your characters so that's very very cool it's always nice whenever you get free things because normally you can only have two characters per server and uh, you had to pay with credits or something else in order to unlock additional slots to get 12 uh, free slots yeah, I'm all about it. So that's mainly all the patch notes. Like I said, if you want to go into more detail with it, go to the Davillion forums and check out the patch notes on there and see everything that it has in store for you coming up. Uh, next week is North American uh, Mega Server Merger, so hopefully it goes really well. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I have uh, characters on both servers, and I'm ready to start sharing my talismans and having fun with all of my characters on one server and being able to 
able to share all my currencies too because that's very very important all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time